In this video, we're going to learn how to create the probability distribution table and finding expected value. So we're going to look at this example. This is a binomial experiment. It is binomial because we're uh, repeating the experiment n number of times. Supposing a family has three children, so you can assume n is three. And we're going to create the probability distribution for this random variable x which would be representing the number of girls in the family. So when you create a probability distribution table, pretty much we're trying to put down what are the values this random variable can take and what are the probability corresponding to those random variables. So let's go ahead and start with part A. So we're going to choose X to stand for number of girls in this um, family. And it is binomial, so we have to choose what is n. Well, n happens to be three because the family has three children. And the little p, the probability that you're going to get a girl, it's one half, assuming having a girl and a boy is equally likely. And then probability of one minus p is going to be one minus a half. That's again, one half. So knowing these, now we can actually answer the problem, what are the corresponding probabilities? So if X is the number of girls in this family, then what are the values this random variable can take? Well, zero for no girls, one for one girl, two for two girls, and three for three girls. All three children are girls. Now let's find their probabilities and then we'll put them in a table. So what's the probability? that x is equal to zero, meaning no girls. Well, we know binomial probability is, so let's rewrite that before we find p of x equals zero. So the binomial probability is given as, so the binomial probability is given as follows. So probability of x is going to be the combination of and choose x times the probability of success. So that's going to be um, x power times probability of not success, that's one minus p to the power n minus x. So using that formula, we're going to find the probability of the three, three children with well, the probability we get zero girls. Well, this is going to be the probability of x equals zero, so it's combination of the three, we're choosing zero, times the probability of success, so that's one half to the power zero, times one half to the power three. So that's the probability that we have no girls. And just keep on going, so we'll just get rid of this and find all of these probability. So for this one, we know that three choose zero, that's one, and then one half to the zero, that's one, and one half to the third, that's one over eight. So this probability is one eighth. Now let's continue on and find the probability of x equal one, two, and three. We'll do it in the same way. So probability that x equals one, meaning we have one girl out of the three children, it's going to be the combination of three, choose one, times one half to the one power times one half to the second power, three minus one gives you two. And then this will give you about three eight. So that's for x equal one. And then for probability x equals two, we're going to get the combination of three, we're choosing two girls times one half to the second power times one half to the first power. And that will give you three eight. I believe that's the number you'll get when you put this in your calculator. So this is also three eight. And we have one more to go. So probability that we have all three children is girls. All three children are girls. This would be combination of three, choose three, times one half to the third power and one half to the zero power, which is one eighth. So these are the probabilities for 
this random variable x, which can take values 0, 1, 2, and 3. So now here's the probability distribution table. So we're going to create probability distribution of number of girls in this family. So that's what our random variable X is going to represent. So this is the column. We're going to put X. So this row, what are the values X can take? Well, we know X can take value zero, one, two, and three. And here we're going to write the probability of X. So probability X equals zero. Well, that was the first one we did right here. And that happens to be one eight. So that's what we're gonna put in this box. This probability is one eight. And then probability when X equals one, that's gonna go here. And we computed that, that's right here, three eight. And then the second one, that's also three eight, as you can see it above. And the third one, all girls, that's one eight. So this is what we call probability distribution table of this specific random variable. Now for the second part, we're going to find the expected value for number of girls in this family. So the expected value, I'm going to do this in two different ways. For this random variable X, so the formula is you take the first um, value that X can take times its probability. So that's this one right here, plus the second value X can take so let's call it x2 times its probability, the third value x can take times its probability, and here the last one, x4 probability of the fourth one. And you pretty much, you multiply these and you just add them up. So if I do that, I will get the following. So I have zero times one eight plus one times three eight plus two times three eight. So let's put that here plus three times one eight. And then if you combine them, add them all together, you'll get 12 over eight, which is about 1.5. So this is how you find expected value for any um, probability distribution. But because this is a binomial, we can actually save time and do it in the following way. So for binomial experiment, your expected value of that random variable is simply n times little p. So n is the um, number of experiments we're assuming here is three, and p is the success for that event happening. So in this example, n is three, and probability of little p that we decided in the front, it's right here. You just multiply these two numbers, so that's one half. So that's three over two. And that's 1.5. So we can do this if the experiment is repeated n times and the probability of P is the success. All right, so uh, this is it. I hope this makes sense.